Hey y'all, Zach McDonald, your real estate agent with Real Property Associates, and welcome to my series on the process of selling your home. In this video, we're gonna talk about preparing your home for sale, and we'll jump into that right now. The second step to selling your house is to get the house prepared for sale. There are a few different things that you should focus on when preparing your house for sale. Number one, you should prepare the yard. I'd say the easiest thing or one of the easiest things you can do to enhance the curb appeal of your house is just get a little bit of landscaping done. Whether that's you and you spend a weekend out pruning the bushes, raking the leaves, mowing the grass, maybe planting some flowers, you can do that or you can have somebody come in and maybe spend 500 bucks to a thousand bucks and have somebody really clean up your yard and spruce it up. Huge difference, huge difference in how your house looks based on just a little bit of landscaping. Now, the next thing you can do is just get that outside of the house ready to go. You, if it needs to get painted, might wanna consider painting your house. If the house needs a new roof, you might wanna consider putting on a new roof. I think the general theme here is the deferred maintenance. What maintenance items have been deferred on your house and what can you take care of that's maybe the low hanging fruit? You don't wanna do a full update or remodel of the exterior or the interior for that matter necessarily, but if there is low hanging fruit that you can take care of, you definitely wanna get those projects done. And you probably already know what those projects are. It might be just as simple as pressure washing the driveway or sweeping the deck. I mean, it could be really, really simple things, but I would make sure that you take care of those projects before getting photography and before putting your house on the market. Now let's jump into the inside. You also wanna get the inside of the house House ready and it could be simple things like replacing light bulbs it could be fixing things that are broken in the house or on the outside of the house you could maybe put a fresh coat of paint on the walls if you have lots of different colors in all the rooms it might be nice to get a neutral color in the house some people will want to do a lot of updates and especially to the inside of the house and things like kitchens and bathrooms remodels and I'll caution you before you start thinking about remodels most remodel projects end up being a negative investment see that, what that means is you're spending more money to do the project than you are getting back in resale value with that said some people are more handy than others and can do those projects themselves so remodeling a kitchen, doing a small remodel to a kitchen or a small remodel to the bathroom is definitely a good idea if you can do the project yourself. But if you start paying other people to do the work, it's not really gonna pay off for you the way you'd like it to. If you were going to live in the house and enjoy it for a little while, there's that value add as well, right? It's not necessarily monetary, but it's just personal satisfaction and enjoyment. But if you're just remodeling the house so you can quickly put it on the market and make a profit, most of those projects aren't going to turn you a profit. So what I've found is more often than not, having your house in good condition, having it clean, having it tidy, having it organized, decluttered, and also having everything working properly, that's going to be the best return on your investment. I think the overarching theme as you're preparing your house for sale is to think through what's going to maximize the resale value of my house. It's not about getting the highest sales price necessarily, it's about maximizing the value. It's ultimately about how much money you're going to get to put in your pocket at the end of the day. So some of the remodel projects are flashy and they look cool and they look nice and they do get you a higher price, but you end up walking away with less money or the same amount of money and a lot more of a headache. A quick note on staging. Home staging is a very often talked about topic in the real estate space, and I think no seller would say, oh, I, I wish I wouldn't have staged my house, it sure looked bad. I think staging is really important. Um, I don't think it's necessary, so it's one of those things as a homeowner that you can weigh cost benefit throughout the process. Most sellers, when they live in a house, can get away with staging with their existing furniture, maybe adding a few pieces to supplement. It's not really needed to take all of your furniture out and restage the whole thing. But in some cases, that's the best option. Other times, staging's not really needed at all. You can use the furniture that you have, maybe move it around a little bit and call it good. So I think staging is important and we can talk about that a little bit more, specifically if you're working with me and get a little bit of advice 
I typically have my stager come out and she does a free consultation and gives her suggestions on what that could look like and comes up with a plan. So if that's something that you want to talk about, we can talk about it a little bit further.